I've been searching everywhere for my sister, but still no luck. I did find some trapped civilians, though. Can you help them? They're stealing ice cream? My sister loved experimenting with flavors when we had our ice cream parlor. I hope she's okay. I better keep looking. This ain't good. The neighborhood's on... Um... These miners are lighting up the place. I tried fighting fire with fire, but it didn't work. Will you help me get this under control? Thanks. I was really burning the candle at both ends trying to deal with this alone. Whoa, and now I understand that phrase, too. Hello. Didn't want to miss my stories, you know, but I suppose I ought to join you fellas. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. It's time to check out now. I'm going to need to borrow your floor if that's okay. Oh, sure, you betcha. Stay close, guys. Orta, that looks heavy. You're a strong fella. I like to keep myself in shape, man. Work out, you know, eat my greens. Oh, for sure. My problem is too much TV. Hello, I'm Aurora Lupin Tanner, and this is Glass Daily News. The ongoing de-escalation talks with Omnistat reached a definite stalemate today, with neither side willing to give ground. Cascadian diplomats expressed severe frustration with what they described as typical Omnistat bullheadedness. I don't know when anyone will get this. But someone needs to keep a record, and I don't know. I came here a few months ago to write about the collapse of a dream of the future gone sour. For me, the people here were a little more than footnotes in my article. Something to tug at the heartstrings. And when the disappearances started, oh, I was thrilled. This was something big. But now people are afraid. And a communication fault means we're alone. I'm trapped here, just like everybody else. Another footnote. Another victim. Was due? No. This telepathy the Nexus granted its users, it's different from my abilities. You can only hear the thoughts of the other ones who once joined themselves to the Nexus. And they are all long dead. In other words, you're listening to the whispers of a thousand corpses 